Hey everyone, Archie here, and today we're gonna talk about the Monarch, and this is this is like one of my top five favorite assault rifles in the game. It, it used to be uh, the Dictator used to be my favorite gun to use, and that and you know that was the gun where it would fire in a horizontal pattern, uh, but the Monarch it fires in more of a rectangular pattern, and in bipod mode it doubles the projectiles you fire, so it's just you know, n nothing survives in that little rectangle there. Um, and this one I have is a times eight variant, so it uses two ammo per shot, but it's normally uh, at times four. And you know, of course I got it on URAD because that's you know, if it doesn't have URAD, then I I ain't using it. Um, <laughs> other other anointments I'd recommend would either be like consecutive hits, or um, or any of like the you know, bonus uh, elemental damage for the next two magazines. Those are really good for like both Flak and Zane since you're constantly activating your action skills on both of them. And so yeah, and well actually this is going to be like a two for one because you know, I'm going to show, you know, showing off the, show off the Monarch for a little bit and then we're going to go over to Kilovolt here in Electro City and I'm going to show you a trick you can do to farm this thing without having to save and quit and some of you might have already seen how to do this but um, I'm just you know gonna show you here just in case you know, and it, it definitely makes the farming for this thing way easier the only downside you're gonna lose a lot of money because you're gonna you know gonna be dying over and over again but you know at end game when you're max level money has pretty much no value except for iridium um, when the director's cut comes out the raid boss gonna I believe they said the raid boss is gonna cost uh, 500 iridium to fight him and yeah I don't know if like uh, it's gonna be like you know Borderlands 2 where um, you know you, you pay pay iridium once and then you can like farm what was, it, what was it like Hyperius and Vernivorous? Uh, like over and over again? I don't know. So we'll just see how that pans out. But um, but yeah, as you can see, the Monarch just doesn't, you know, leaves no survivors. Like in I, I like this is a times eight variant too, so I don't even have to like fire it and fire it in bipod mode. It still still works just fine in just, you know, normal mode. Alright, so we're here at Kilovolt, and I'm actually going to switch to my Soul Render, just to kill him a little bit faster. Well, actually, you know what, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just switch to, uh, you know, my you know, full Iron Bear damage build, so all I need is just my Flare, a gun with Vanquisher Rocket Pod damage, Yeah, switch to. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll use nukes. Why not? <clears throat> yeah. So, all you gotta do now, all I gotta do now, is just hold this gun, and now when I get an iron barrel, I'll have a hundred percent more damage. And we're just gonna fire. And there we go. First phase done. And I've I've learned too that you can just stand in this bubble. It forces him to melee and he won't teleport away. Alright, so now that we've killed him, so th so this is so this is how you can farm him over and over again. So now what you do, you know, if you you know, if he doesn't drop it, all you do is down yourself. And it has to be in the arena. So you just, you know, kill yourself, and when you respawn, he will he will respawn as well. And Killable is the only boss in this game that allows you to do this. All right, so I'm gonna head back. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually switch to just regular rockets because because of the mayhem modifier, he might become immune to radiation.
So yeah, now he died. So he doesn't teleport away, just sit in his bubble. And there it is. And... Oh, not, not lucky. And yeah, that's that's all there is to it. Yeah, so just if, if he dies and you don't get it, just throw a grenade at your feet or down yourself with a rocket launcher and just... You can just rinse and repeat. There, you don't have to save and quit. You you will have to, um, you know, eventually like clean up the loot because there's gonna be there's gonna be so much legendaries dropping that it's gonna be hard to see if a monarch does drop. So, you know, you just pick up the guns and sell them to the vendor here. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you know, I, you know, monarch is great on any character in this game. And, yeah, on top of that, like, I got the class mod for it, or, you know, good one to use. You know, got this one right here with, you know, assault rifle damage and fire rate. And then I used, um, then I use uh, terror, you know, terrify myself with a face puncher, and have an ammo regeneration shield while terrified, and increased damage and fire rate while terrified as well, so it's, it's a really good combo to use on any gun, basically. And yeah, that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.